Welcome to our production of The Rockin' Tale of Snow White. I wasn't planning on doing a curtain speech tonight, but we've had some interesting circumstances over the last couple days that I wanted to tell you about. Um, there's been a very contagious stomach bug that's made it through our drama club in the sixth grade. Over the last couple of days, it's hit 10 or 11 of our students in the show and three out of the four directors over the last few days. So it's been a very interesting day. We decided to go ahead with our production tonight because most of the kids are here. Um, we have a few students who unfortunately were just too sick to be able to be here tonight. So there will be a few other people filling in their parts. So we may, you may notice a few costumes that maybe don't look quite right. And you'll probably notice a few students with scripts in their hands. And those are the students who agreed at the last minute to jump in and take one of those parts for one of the students that's sick. So I know you'll understand if there are a few little rough patches around that, but we're so proud of them and so excited that they were willing to jump in and do that for us. And it's going to be a wonderful production. So thank you very much for coming. Hi, my name is Maggie. And this play is, I play is a character, uh, my character is Peggy Sue. This is Donnie and he plays my brother, Josh. Hey, I was going to tell them. I'm Donnie and I play her brother, Josh. Anyway, the show is called The Rockin' Tale of Snow White. It's the story of a girl named Snow White. Duh, they already knew that. No, they don't. Anyway, there's a queen who thinks she's the most beautiful woman in the land, but her magic mirror tells her that a young girl named Snow White is actually prettier. A magic, a magic mirror? That's cool. I know, just wait till you see it. Anyway, the queen gets jealous and comes up with all these great disguises and plans to kill Snow White so that the queen will be the most beautiful again. There's lots of evil and violence and killing. You are so immature. This is actually a story of a romantic hero prince who falls in love with Snow White at first sight. Love at first sight? There's no such thing. There is too. Anyway, it's a story of how the queen tries to get rid of Snow White. There are animals, an angel, a devil, dwarves, bats, princes, princes. Princes? I thought you said a prince, just one. What's this about princes? Ugh, brothers. You're, you're so annoying. Let's, let's just let them watch the show and they'll figure it out, okay? Okay, anyway, we've been hard at work singing, dancing, and acting since early October. It's been a lot of hard work, but it's been fun, too. So, thanks for coming. We hope you enjoy the rocking tale of Snow White.
the prince falls in love in, at first sight, and now he has to kiss her. Gross, no way. He's not going to kiss her. He does not. Oh, he has to. He loves her. He does not. He just met her. It's love at first sight. There's no such thing. There is, too. It happens all the time. Like when? Like in all the fairy tales. Name one. Snow White. I am the handsome Prince Charming. Oh, behold, the fair Snow White. I love you more than anything in the world. No way, he wouldn't say that, especially not to a dead person. Well then, what did he say, huh? What did he say? I am the brave combat hero soldier and one prince of a guy. Whoa, is she really dead? I'll say. It says here her name's Snow White. I'll say. She's pretty pale. I should bring her back to my castle and show my friends. Uh-uh, that's Guys. not what happens. Handsome Prince Charming. And we are his handsome men. We have climbed the highest peaks and fought the fiercest dragons to be here. Oh, behold, the fair Snow White. I love you more than anything in the world. No way, he wouldn't say that. I'm the brave combat hero soldier and one prince of a guy. And we are his brave men. We have snuck behind enemy lines and slashed our way through the deepest jungles to be here. Whoa, is she really dead? It says here name Snow White. I'll say. She's pretty pale. I should bring her back to my castle and show my friends. Uh-uh, that's not what happens. Is too. Is not. Is too. Is not. You two make up your minds? <laughs> What's going on here? Mom! He said that the prince didn't love Snow White at first sight because she's dead and... She said that the prince solely fell in love with Snow White at first sight and then wanted to kiss her and there's no way that's true. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this about the story of Snow White? Yes. yes. Well, there's one way to resolve this. Let's see what the Grimm brothers have to say, shall we? The, the who? The Brothers Grimm, they wrote the story. Guys, go, go. Once upon a time in the middle of winter, when the flakes of oh. the snow were falling like feathers from the sky. Thing you can buy. I wish a child of our own. Oh, my dear. Ouch. What's wrong? I pricked my finger. Look at how red my blood is on the white snow. With that, I had a child with skin as white as snow, lips as red as blood, and hair as the wood of the window frame. Someday you will, my dear. Red as blood. Cool. You are so immature. Would you two listen? It's a girl! Congratulations! It should be a joyous day, but I have some bad news. Bad news? What is it? I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but the Queen has died. What? No! Why didn't you save her? Dang it! Dang it, Your Majesty! I'm just a country doctor, not a magician! What? No! Alas and alack, my beloved wife lost. But well, here is my beautiful daughter, the skin is white as snow, lips as red as blood, and hair as black as ebony. I shall name her Snow White to remind me of my wife's wish. After some time, the king took himself another wife. She was a beautiful woman, but she
but she could not, but she was proud and arrogant, and she could not stand it if anyone might surpass her in her beauty. She had a bad day. Hello, Mirror. What wonderful things do you have to share with me today? <clears throat> mirror, mirror on the wall, who in this land is fairest of all? You, my queen, are the fairest of all. Ladies and gentlemen, a limerick for your enjoyment. There once was a queen so vain. Her mirror could not call her place. She didn't say, you look beautiful today. Her anger will cause him great pain. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, we have more. Our wit you'll adore. So give us your full attention. Just, just lend us an ear. But have no fear. Your problems we will not mention. When I look in the mirror, I'm happy to see that no one is nearly as pretty as me. As a lady in <laughs> waiting, I am lucky to wear the latest in fashion and smiling hair. But a look in the mirror reveals the truth that I am so happy. No one is nearly as pretty as me. No one is nearly as pretty as me. I'm happy. 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 I'm happ
I'm happy. I am still. No. Who is it? That people from afar came to visit. Just to behold. Failed in gold. I think no white should take flight. <laughs> This land is fairest of all. You, my queen, are fair, it is true, but Snow White is a thousand times fairer than you. What? I, I, what did you say? Snow White is a thousand times fairer than you. What? I said Snow White is a thousand. I heard you the first time. Well then, why'd you ask again? Because you're lying, and just for that, I'm going to hit you with the hammer and break you into a thousand pieces. Now, how would you like that? Go ahead. It is impossible for me to lie to you, Your Majesty. You know that. I'm a mayor for heaven's sake. I can only reflect what I see. So go ahead. Wreck me. See if I ever talk to you again. But she is a child. There is no way she is prettier than me. Look, I call him like I see him. Ugh. Hey, look, I'm a mirror, and I can really see you. But check it out now. I wouldn't want to be you. She thinks she's pretty. Best in the city, but she got no heart. She got no pity. She's the queen, a bad scene. She's the queen, the queen of me. She's the queen, a jump queen. She's the queen, all uh home. -huh. And now there's another, whose beauty is above her, and she just can't stand that she's a stepmother. So it's a beauty, done my duty by telling the truth. Do you think she be the truth, but she ain't no baby root. She's a queen, bad team. She's a queen, queen of me. She's a queen, jump queen. She's a queen, oh yeah, the queen of me. Everyone needs a mirror to see a little clearer. I see you, but do you see me? If you're not real, then how can I be? And how can perfection be in the reflection? Don't ask me, it's a mystery. I'm just a mirror. Yeah. From that hour on, whenever the queen looked at Snow White, her heart turned over inside her body. So great was her hatred for the girl. The envy and pride grew even greater and greater like a weed in her heart until she had no peace day and night. What does that mean? It means that the queen was really jealous and every day it got worse. I didn't ask you, I asked mom. Mom, what does that mean? It means the queen was really jealous and every day it got worse. Fetch me my fine handkerchief box from my room. Yes, my lady. Summon my huntsman. Yes, You are my loyal servant. Yes, my lady. And you will do whatever I ask. Yes, my lady. Take Snow White out into the woods. I never want to see her again. Kill her, and as proof that she is dead, bring her lungs and her liver back to me. Deliver them to me in this box. Kill her? My lady, surely not. Why is so gentle, so kind, so lovely? I'm not, I cannot kill such a delicate flower. You will do as I say, or you yourself will die. The huntsman obeyed and took Snow White into the woods. Who 
are so gentle. How can you be so kind and gentle? As a child, my father told me, blessed are we. Remember this, life's not that long. It is but moments to be savored, filled with bliss. There are treasures around us everywhere for us to behold. Treasures? I see no treasures. I see rain. I see silver. I see sunshine. I see gold. Leaves? Emeralds. Isn't it lovely here? Pretty bird, how are you today? Better than you, I fear. Why, little bird, how could you say such a thing? It is such a lovely day, and the huntsman yonder has been kind enough to be my protector as I gather these lovely flowers. Yonder huntsman means to harm you. What? Oh, I am sure you are mistaken. I have known him since I was a child. He is a good and kind man. Listen to me, Snow White. I speak the truth. The word has traveled through the forest, carried on the wings of my brothers and sisters. He intends to kill you. Shame on you. Why let her go, of course? Who are you? What should I do? I can't believe you're hesitating! Who are you? Hey, who invited you here? Butt out! I'm your good conscience, and I'm here to 
that's what I was thinking. No one listened to her. She's obviously forgotten that the queen said she would have you killed if you failed to carry out this task. That's something to consider. But you've known so much since she was a child. She's done no wrong to the queen and harmed no one. That's a good point. But you're going to die if you don't kill her! That's a good point too. Save yourself. The evil queen hates you and wants you dead. Run away, you poor child. Now look what you've done! What are you going to tell the queen? A lie. Even you can't have a problem with that. But how in the world will you prove it? She asked for proof delivered in her box. I, I shall kill a wild animal animal in her place, perhaps a wild bunny. Now you're thinking. Excuse me, but I hear something about killing a man-eating bunny. Yes. Can I have your name? Rachel Hansen. My <laughs> name's Mel Merman. I'm from the Department of Natural Resources, otherwise known as the D. You're who? From the Department of what? Mel Merman's my name. Natural resources are my game. Here I am to predict your land. I'm your natural resource man. Yes, folks, it's all about natural resource protect. My department is not through the Department of the Interior, which was established by the Third Congress back in 1849. Even back then, they realized we had to manage protect this great nation. That's where I come in to protect these cute little wear bunnies. Here I am to protect your land. I'm your natural resource man. So now you know, sir, it is legal to hunt bunnies in this forest. Illegal? Yes, sir. This forest? Yes, sir. You're kidding, right? Afraid not, sir, now. I didn't know they're protected. Ignorance is not an excuse, sir. It's people like you that can be job security. I'm your natural resource man. Have you hoped to treat a federal punk? Some questions I need you to answer.
afraid, Snow White. We know who you are and of your plight. But how do you know? Our friends the birds brought us your story. Then they will have told you that I have nowhere to go. I'm so frightened and all alone, and I don't know what to do. We will help you, Snow White. There's nothing to fear. We will guide your steps to a safe place. What's that? 
Jacob wanted to attack it. Let's not and say we did. Oh, for heaven's sake, let's get a grip. We don't even know what we're dealing with here. Well, what do you suggest? It's not moving anymore. Maybe it's asleep. Might be. Should we sneak up and have a look? Yes, I think you should. If one goes, we all go together. Do we have to? Come on, be ready, men. Slowly. Good heavens. Good heavens. She's so beautiful. Where did she come from? She's really big, isn't she? Only to you. Should we wake her up? No, let her sleep. We'll find out her story in the morning. Dwarves asked her who she was and how she had found her way to their house. She told them how her stepmother had tried to kill her, how the huntsman had spared her life, and how she had run the entire day, finally coming to the house. The dwarves pitied her and invited her to stay. Oh, wasn't that sweet? Oh, brother. Now the queen believed that the huntsman had brought the her the liver and lungs of Snow White. The queen didn't know the huntsman had bought the liver and lungs at the farmer's market, and she could only think that she was once again in the most beautiful woman of all. Attention, please. Yes, Your Majesty. Anything you wanted to say to me today? Hmm. Why, yes, Your Majesty. <clears throat> Ladies, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, a limerick for your enjoyment. The rest of the queen so exquisite that people from afar came to visit. Just to, just to behold. Looks fair than gold. Not a bad poem now, is it? <laughs> Mirror, mirror on the wall, who in this land is fairest of all? You, my queen, are fair, it's true, but Snow White beyond the mountains of seven dwarfs is still a thousand times fairer than you. No, that cannot be! <sighs> when the evil queen heard that Snow White was well alive and well living with the dwarfs, she thought and thought again about how she could kill her. Isn't that against the law? What's against the law? Killing someone. Isn't that against the law? Of course it is. Okay, now shut up and listen. Mom, Peggy Sue told me to shut up. Peggy Sue, there is a nicer way to tell someone to stop talking. Well, it doesn't work for him. Yes, it does. Yet. Josh, yes, it is against the law, and Josh, hush now. Now, I was saying... Can I ask one more thing? Fine, what do you want? Didn't some of those dwarves seem kind of tall to you? You're kidding, right? Josh, this is your imagination. You can make anything, you can make them any size you want using your imagination. Oh yeah, you're right. You are so stupid. Mom, Peggy Sue called me stupid. Do you two want me to keep on reading? Then no more fighting. In the meantime, the word about Snow White's arrival was starting to fly around the local dwarf village.
Surely, miss. Down the street and left the general store. Thank you very much. Aren't you kind of tall for a dwarf? As a matter of fact, I'm the world's record for a tall store. Really? Wow. Impressive. Thanks. She seems nice. Yes, she does. And I didn't see any horns. this recipe calls for. Looking funky, looking fine. 
that prissy girl is mine. I drop up to a piggy stop, a sales receipt you wanna shop. Lace and ribbons will make her drop. Mix them all together, mix them all together. That should do it. She'll <coughs> 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 never recognize me as an old pet or a woman. And now, to finish the task. Ha <coughs> ha. <coughs> I hear you, but I'll be fine. Really, I will. I know you think that, but you don't know how crafty she can be. We only say this for your own sake. And we ask this of our friends in the village as well. Please watch out for Snow White. We will. Keep a sharp eye out for Snow White. For, for, keep a sharp eye out for Snow White and do not let the, and do not let the evil queen do her any harm. anything in front of all these people. I promise. Well then, we're off to work. Have you hugged the tree today? Better off, you two. 
you certainly are pretty. Would you like to take a look at my pretty things? These flowers at, of this, on the strings of the corset ribbons seem to be the love, just the lovely thing for your skin. Oh. Would you like to try it on? Oh, thank you, but I simply couldn't. Oh, why not? It's just for fun. It won't kill you. That's what she thinks. Ha <laughs> Well, they are awfully pretty. Maybe just for a minute. There, see for yourself. Look into my mirror and see how pretty you are. Oh, it's lovely, but why do I suddenly feel so faint? I can't breathe. I can't help me. <laughs> I won! What has happened to Snow White? Look at Snow White. Quick, go fetch a seven. Tell her to shovel Snow White. She's barely breathing. What is it? Oh dear, is she dead? She's barely breathing. Quick, loosen the corset. Untie the ribbon. I can't. It's as if it won't let go. Huh, it won't matter for the queen, no doubt. Let's just cut the strings instead. <gasps> Yes. Well, no. Well, oh, I don't know. She fell for it easily enough. How was I to know those meddling dwarves would know how to remove the spell? Of course, the ribbons are so obvious. She wasn't breathing. Of course, they're going to loosen them. Hey, don't get smart with me, Mirror, or I'll break you into a thousand pieces. That's seven years bad luck, you know. I'm just trying to help. Well, then be helpful and not so critical. Here I am, back at the joint. Hey, how about those poison combs used a while back? They work pretty well. Yes, yes, the combs. Oh, wonderful. I'm so smart. You're so smart. I'm the one. No girl can resist brushing her hair with a lovely comb, and I shall present her with such that she cannot resist, and that shall be the end of our pretty little Snow White. But first to the skies, my son. Hmm, the right spell is needed. A pinch of this, a pinch of that. A gear of dog, a toe of bat. A squishy book from where I sat. Mix them all together. That girl's not going to make an old bat out of me. Sorry. I'm gonna put that nuisance girl to bed. A strand of hair from a cold black. <laughs> oh yes, one last thing, a scrunchie. Mix it together. That should do it. <coughs> She'll never recognize me. She'll be expecting an old peddler woman. Now to finish the task. Take care of yourself, my dear. I will. Promise. I promise. Well then, we're off to our...
pretty hair, pretty combs. Oh, why, hello, what's your name? Look at your lovely hair. Would you like to look at my pretty combs? May I brush your hair for you? Oh, thank you, but I simply couldn't. <laughs> why not? It's just for fun. Well, they are awfully pretty. And this isn't the same peddler woman as last time, so I'm sure it's all right. Okay, if just for a minute. Okay. <laughs> That'll give you like there. Oh, look, it's Snow White. What has happened? Quick, go fetch a seven. Tell there's trouble with Snow White. She's so pale. What is it? Oh dear. She's so still. Wait, where where does the stone come from? <laughs> Fair, it is true, but little Snow White with the seven dwarves is a thousand times fairer than you. No way! That cannot be true. Ugh. Snow White will die if it costs me my life. With this little apple, Snow White will meet her end. Howdy little red lips are going to be closed for good. Gonna kill Snow White, that's what I'll do. With a poison apple in witch's brew. To fall asleep, won't that be grand? When the girl is dead and I'm the fairest chick in the land. But first to disguise myself. Never recognize me looking like this. Wake up! What now? It went like a charm. At first, she was afraid to take a bite. But then I said, if you're afraid, I will cut the apple in here, in two. Here, you have the side with a beautiful red cheek. Now, the apple had been so artfully made that only the red half was poisoned. She barely had the bite in her mouth when she fell to the ground dead. What do you say to that? You, my queen, are now fairest of all. Ha, ha, ha. Yes. What is this? Well, Why do you mourn, my good men? We have lost our fair Snow White. 
The beauty in the glass case? Yes, I have heard of her. May I see her? I have never seen such beauty, even in death. Please, let me take her back to my castle. I will build a shrine and protect you always. I will give you all the gold you want. Take her, Snow White? Well, I don't know. We couldn't part with her for all the gold in the world. Please, I will honor and respect her as my most cherished one. Yes, of course. Men, the coffin, and lift it with care. Watch out! <coughs> no, I saw his wife! But how? She has coughed up this large chunk of apple. <laughs> Snow White, are you all right? Yes, I think so. I feel like I've been sleeping. Where am I? I remember taking a big bite of a juicy red apple, and then nothing. It must have been when we dropped the coffin. I saw the apple from the throat. Bringing her back to us! Good heavens, where am I? You are with me. I am the prince of this land. I love you more than anything else in the world. Please do me the honor of coming back to my father's castle with me. You shall become my wife. Oh my goodness, this is all so sudden, but... Okay.
Grab that evil woman and put her in chains. We're attempting to hurt this child with your evil magic. You will be made to suffer the hands of your own evil magic. Bring forth the magic chains. These enchanted chains will cause you to dance forever. And you will regret the day you ever used your magic for evil. You will never hurt anyone ever again. Questions I need you to answer. Sir, sir, may we have more 